Howdy Wargames and welcome to TT Combat's Get It Painted Zinch Demon Prince. Here you can see we have a very unique model to represent our Demon Prince, and if you would like to see how this guy was built, then check out Dan's Conversion Lab over on our YouTube channel. As you can see, we decided to go with a scenic base for this model. This is the Arcane base from MicroArt. We chose this one because I wanted to make the demon look like he has just been summoned from the Chaos Plains through this portal. Okay, so let's start with the base. I started by priming the base using Army Painter's Color Primer Leather Brown. I then added some pre-shading using Vallejo's Model Air Camo Medium Brown, applied using an airbrush. I then gave the base a light dusting of Vallejo's Model Air Green Zinc. This will really help to make the stone look old and mossy. And if mossy wasn't a word before, it is now. The next step is very similar to the previous step, only not quite as heavy. This time you're using Vallejo's Model Air Pale Green. Now find a large tatty brush and dry brush the entire base using Citadel's Carax Stone. You can be fairly generous here, but don't go over the top, you still want some of the brown and greens from below to show through. Now give the base a wash using Citadel's Agrax Earthshade. Once the wash is dried, dry brush over Carrick Stone once again. This is to make the base look a little brighter and to give it a less washed out look. There are actually leaves dotted around the base, and this is the perfect opportunity to add some colour. I paint the foliage using various Citadel colours, Lorraine Forest, Nurgling Green and Talon Sand to be exact. You could actually stop here. If you want plain stone bases, this is exactly where you want to stop. However, I want my portal to look like it's activated and glowing with magical blue energy. For this, I get the airbrush out again and I apply Vallejo's Model Air Light Sea Blue to all of the arcane stones. Let a small amount of the blue overspray onto the non-arcane stones to make it look like they're glowing. Finally, to make it look like the stones are glowing themselves, I dry brush them using Citadel's White Scar.
You only want a very small amount of white paint left on the brush when doing this. It's surprising how much will come off the brush. And that is how I paint my arcane bases. Okay, time for the demon himself. And because it's Zinch, you'll want him to be nice and bright with some wacky magical colours like purples and blues. I start by priming the miniature using Army Painter's colour primer Alien Purple. I then highlight the skin of his wings, his head and the tip of his tail using Vallejo's model colour Blue Violet. I then want to throw some blue in there, so the bottom half of his wings, the tip of his tail and the top of his head get painted using Vallejo's Model Air Light Sea Blue. Finally, to really brighten him up, I paint the tips of his wings, his tail and his head again using Vallejo's Model Air White. Okay, I now paint his collar and his staff using Vallejo's Model Air Gold. This is painted on using a brush. Okay, now I'm going to show you a nice, easy, yet effective way of painting fire. Start by base coating the flames using white. This is Citadel's Ceramite White. You will want a nice solid base coat, so you may have to do two or three coats. I then washed all of the gold areas using Citadel's Reichland Flesh Shade. This will make the gold look more luxurious at the same time as being old.
Right, to finish the flames off and make them look nice and bright, simply wash it using Citadel's Cassandora Yellow. That's basically it for the flames. However, should you wish, you can always dry brush some grey to the top and make it look smoky. I wanted this flame to look nice and clean, simply because it's a magical flame. I wanted the staff to look like it's actually been possessed by a demon, to the point where it could be considered alive. To achieve this, I wanted to paint the tongue of the staff to look a little bit more fleshy than the metallic of the shaft, so I gave it a base coat of Citadel's Slanish Grey. The majority of this miniature is extremely bright, which is what you'd expect with a Zeech demon. So to add a bit of contrast to the miniature, I painted all of the claws and talons black, using Army Painter's Matte Black. To finish the tongues off, I gave them a highlight using Yushabti Bone by Citadel. At this point, I wanted to give his flesh a little bit more of a blue hue. So for this, I dry brush Citadel's Ulthuan Grey over his chest, legs and face. I then glaze these same areas using Citadel's Guilliman Blue. I had previously painted the hair on this guy dark blue, but I found this blended into the model far too much. While there are a fair few colours on this miniature, nothing really stands out, so I decided the miniature would look much better if there was another colour being used to break up the model a bit, so I base coated the hair on his back and his legs using Citadel's Pink Horror. which was then given a wash using Citadel's Caraburg Crimson.
finally, to finish the miniature off, I decided to dry brush the hair using Citadel's Emperor's Children. And there you have it, one very unique looking demon prince built using three different kits from Games Workshop to create a nice cinchy look. Special thanks goes to Dan Dilling for creating this great looking model, as it will fit rather nicely into my demons army, I look forward to killing them with it. If you like this tutorial, then please check out the rest of our channel and subscribe. Next week should be a Nurgle demon prince, and I for one am looking forward to this.